Hi, I'm Beth from Abe Books, and today I would like to recommend the novel Super True Sad Love Story by Gary Steingart. The novel is the latest work from the Russian-American author, whose previous works include The Russian Debutante's Handbook and Absurdistan, which in 2006 garnered a lot of positive attention, particularly from the New York Times. I wasn't sure when I started Super True Sad Love Story that I was going to like it, largely because it's steeped in misery and that can be a little bit off-putting. But the more I read it, and I'm not one to give up on a book easily, the more I began to enjoy it despite myself. The story opens in Italy, but is set mostly in New York City in America in the not too distant future. The world has devolved to a shallow, bottom line oriented, largely functionally illiterate world where everyone is obsessed with shopping and youth, and everyone possesses a handheld device called an apparatus or an apparat which, similar to the smartphones of today, but worse, allows for people to shop, it acts as a tracking device, as a communications device, and even as a way of sizing up the people around you in public in terms of their net worth, their assets and liabilities, their personalities, and everything else about them that really should be kept private. As I began to read, I realized that it was so similar to today's world, but more far-fetched, that I became a little uncomfortable because some aspects, like the obsession with youth, the obsession with brand names, and the inability to look up from an electronic device, was not that dissimilar to the world we live in now. The two main characters of the book, Eunice Park and Lenny Abramov, because they were part of that culture, at first seemed hard to relate to to me. But the more I read, the more they showed glimpses of fragility and human emotion, which throughout the book is largely shown as weakness, and they begin to become real, whole, well-rounded characters, which, in the context of the story, kind of felt like a green tendril of hope breaking through a crack in the sidewalk, and I really enjoyed it. The book was hard to read in parts, but the writing is very wry and witty without being too self-congratulatory, and it read very quickly and easily. I would recommend the book for any fan of dystopian science fiction, anyone who loves satire, and anyone who thinks the world is becoming a little too newfangled and wants to be horrified. Thanks.